Welcome. My name is Chris Gosling from Australian Fund Monitors for the Finance News Network. Today we're going to talk to Rick Steele and Paul Davis from Tech Invest, a boutique Australian absolute return manager. First, we'll start with Rick. Hi Chris, how are you? I'm well, thanks Rick. Uh, can you just give us a quick outline of Tech Invest, the company? Well, we've been around now, we uh, have been in business for about 10 years, and it's been a pretty interesting 10 years, I have to say. Um, we set out as a specialist technology manager, but we've evolved uh, through time to be a global equity manager with a long, short um, techniques being applied to our funds. And you've got a, you've got a 10 year track record. Uh, how many funds do you manage? Well, the firm manages around 150 million uh, all up, and um, we have a range of strategies, a number of which work across the same investment process. This morning we're going to talk about the Intercept Capital Fund. That's right. Can you tell us a bit about that? Yeah, Intercept Capital is a what they call a long short fund, but it has a market neutral strategy applied. That is that we seek to invest in companies that we see as being having good prospects, but we offset the risk of that with companies that we see having poor prospects. So the net share market exposure after those processes is zero. And you're called Tech Invest. Uh, are you a, a technical? Is that because you're a technical trader? Because you're in, investing in the technical sector? Just give some background on that. Well, we're actually a good old-fashioned fundamental um, fundamental analysis styled manager. That is, we look at the numbers, we look at the companies, we come to views on the appropriate valuations of those companies, and we decide whether or not they are good purchases or good sales. And your geographic mandate? Is Australian or global? or We invest globally. The world is our oyster. We tend to um, regard geography as less of a market these days because the companies that interest us are those with global suppliers, global customers. Um, where they're listed and where they're headquartered tends to have little influence now on their likely prospects. And from a technical point of view or from an industry point of view, uh, the, the technical sector, I gather, is, n is no longer as important in your strategy as it once was. That's right. The sorts of decisions we make now extend into all sorts of companies that are impacted by change. We're looking for companies that are likely to adapt well to change, and we look to, to buy those ones. And we're also looking for companies that will struggle to adapt to change, and they're candidates for selling. How does this flow through into performance, and how's your performance been? Well, the beauty about market neutral funds, of course, is that the direction of markets don't necessarily impact on the likely return to the fund. In fact, this has been a very good period for us. I think in the year to date we've had a return of around 12% and over the 12 months almost 16%. So these sorts of difficult times do throw up all sorts of opportunities for us to both invest and to sell. So you've had returns over the past 12 months of 16% against the Dow Jones or the S&P which has fallen about 40%. That's pretty significant outperformance. Has there been high volatility with that? Well, we tend to run a, a portfolio which is a little less volatile than share markets. We do fish in the same pond as the equity managers, but because we're able to both invest and offset those risks with short sells, then we don't carry the same share market risk. So it's possible to get positive returns when share markets are negative. Well, you certainly wouldn't want the volatility of the last 12 months, but you seem to have been able to perform well in that environment. Yeah, these sorts of environments create a whole range of opportunities. Good stocks get sold down needlessly and poor stocks get held up for other reasons. So it does create good chances for long short managers to outperform. Rick, thank you for your time. I wish you all the best for the next 10 years as you've obviously gone well over the past 10 years. Good. Thanks very much, Chris.